What's going on guys, it's the Kitty here and welcome back to yet another one of my videos. On today's video we're looking at Frag Pro Shooter and in particular this new wild card called Dr. Crow. Now I only just got him today, I didn't get him the first time the, cha the challenge came round to win him. I was very frustrated and even today it was very frustrating. I basically, it was up to the wire, I had two defeats, I had to get that last win to win him and I managed to do it. So that means to say I can now talk about this guy. Now he's, because he's so new, and it's what is usually the case, he's he's slightly overpowered for, compared with a lot of the other guys. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some matches. We're gonna do some co-op matches, because then that means to say that everyone is level nine, and it's easier to demonstrate rather than going in against normal challenges and going against players that have, just like level 12 and 13 and ridiculous things. So we've started off with, so obviously he's got the ability to heal and to poison as well, but he's got this splash damage, which is really great. There's only, a, there's a few cards that've got the splash damage and he's one of them. And that makes it much easier to get the kills with him. Like I said, he's super powerful. He can, he's racking up some kills now and then I get killed. <laughs> Try to take, to bite off more than I could chew there. So yeah, so tips on him. Now, um, this is what I've been told by some of the some of the top players in the game that his AI is not that good. So if you're going to have him in your squad, you want to actually play as him because his AI, he's more likely to act as a defensive card or a camping card uh, rather than going forward and being the useful card that he is. But also another tip is because he's. He's also able to fire almost as fast as he can run, so that is another useful trait that he's got. Let's just get this guy here. Oh, there's two. Oh, we've been stunned. And we've been killed again. He's not got a massive amount of health, as you can see. So once again, I'm just going to go in as as, um, as fish face here. And just to pick up a bit of healing. Bobbler. Just a bit of healing. We'll wait for my... Dr. Crow to respawn again. We shouldn't be too long. Always takes too long when you're trying to make a video on him. But it looks like the other guy I'm playing with is getting lots of kills. So he's doing he's doing fairly well. So yeah, so, you, so one of the first tips is don't use him for AI. You need to play as him. The one another really good ability he's got is he can actually heal himself. If you get to the point where you're low on health and you're sort of not being shot at, you can actually heal yourself. But another good tip is if you're going up against, if you've got someone like Luca Mortra in your team, then you can, why is he actually not shooting? He's not shooting his gun, which is really odd. Now he's shooting his gun and he's being killed. Glitches, there's always glitches in this game. <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you've got Luca Mortra in your team and you follow him in to the base, you could actually just spend your time healing him They'll be there desperately trying to kill him. You'll be healing him. And it's a very good strategy to use. I've not actually seen it done. And I've not actually tried to do it myself as yet. But that's not to say that, um, you know, as I get better with this card, that I won't try that. Because I think it, it sounds like a very good strategy indeed. So right, let's go again. So yeah, so his, his speed is good. He's able to fire almost as fast as he can run. So you don't need to worry about, you know, you can run and gun quite well. You can try and dodge. I've been shot in the back, even though I've been shot in the back. Let's hope I don't get killed. Right, let's see if I can do a bit of the healing. Let's do some healing. Hang on, if I get around this corner here. So, see, you can see the healing. It did a little bit of healing, and then it didn't do it after that. But it's, it's a work in progress with the healing. <laughs> it got shot in the back there. But you saw, you saw that it is possible to heal yourself. Obviously, it takes time to do that, so I don't know how useful that would be in the game. But it looks like we've got the win, which is super awesome. And we're going to go straight in, and we're going to do a second match, and we're going to talk some more about him. And I'll tell you some more about how good a card he is. So he's got the potential to be a tier one card at the moment, unless, obviously, in the future they decide to buff him. Oh, look at that. I've got some lovely legendary unlock as well. Right, straight back in. Second game, random, co-op. Let's talk some more about Dr. Crow. As soon as it goes in, come on, yada yada. Taking too long. So yeah, 
he's got, he is the only card that I know of who can do healing and poison at the same time. So, there, you know, there's lots of possibilities with strategies. I'm sure some of the top players will be coming out with some wild strategies using this guy. It's always nice if you can spawn facing in the right direction as well. But this splash damage is what does it for me, really. You know, you don't have to worry too much about missing your shots because you're just going to get the shots in, in and around. It's got a three meter diameter splash radius and that makes him amazing to use. Obviously, he kicks out quite a lot of damage. He does a fair amount of damage when he's in the base as well. Six shots in his gun. And I'm getting shot in the back now. Let's try and run out of it. Oh, my goodness. Didn't even have a chance. He just he got slowed by the snow guy there. And that put paid, put paid to that. I don't actually think the snow guy's that good myself. But obviously, he, uh, he took me out quite well there before I could actually react to it. But... It's going to be any second now. He's going to spawn back in here. And then we can crack on. But once again, I will say, do not use him for his AI abilities. He's not very good on the AI front. And he's liable to get killed a fair amount. There are a lot better cards out there with better AI. Let's see if we can take this snow guy out. No, it's not a snow guy. Where's the snow guy? Oh, going to get another kill. Yes, another kill. Right, let's see if we can do some healing. Let's just do it here. Heal. There, I picked up a healing pack anyway. But you can, you get the idea. I'm getting shot in the back now. Shot a lot there. Let's just back away. It's that same dude again. Oh, I tried to outwit him, but it wasn't going to be. It looks like we could actually lose this one. The second match in. But obviously, because I'm not... Because I'm talking and blabbering away rather than playing as the other cards. That's where you tend to, to fail. Shall I go in? Let's get in there some defense. Don't let him get the win. Are we defending? Are we going to make it? Come on, Dr. Crow. Dr. Crow seems to, take, seems to be taking forever to spawn. And we're under attack again. We're, we're, we're going to definitely lose this one. But yeah, you get the gist with, with what I'm saying about this card. Splash damage is great. Ability to heal himself is great. You can try some strategies up against... Right, let's see if we can get some double points. See if we can pull this out of the bag. I'm not sure if we will. We got one down, but they're still going in and attacking. They've got us down to 500 now. Oh, I got a lovely kill there. But then I got taken out. There's three guys there. Three guys, we definitely aren't going to win this one. <laughs> but what more can you say about Dr. Crow? Phenomenal card. You know, it's like Queen Boom that probably needs to be nerfed at some point and probably will be nerfed at some point in the future. But for the time being, definitely use him as much as you can. Three, two, one. We're going to lose. There was a kill there. Oh, we only lost by a slight little amount there. We were like massively behind, but we caught up. So there you have it. Dodger Crow, amazing card. Check him out. I'd say he's a tier one or a tier two card right now. If you have got him, put him in your deck, but play as him. Don't use him for the AI abilities. And like I said, you've got that splash damage. You've got that poison. You can heal yourself. You can heal all your other allies on your team. So there you go. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button because that would be super awesome. If you've got Dodger Crow, if you managed to win him, leave a comment below. Tell me how you're playing with him. If you've got any strategies or tactics or tips to using Dr. Crow in the game, I would love to read about it. And anyway, I will see you guys next time.